Hello world, my name is Andy Silvers and today we're going to look at some bad book reviews on Amazon. Alright, so for those who don't know, my name is Andy Silvers, I'm an author and filmmaker, and today we're going to look at a couple of books and we're going to read some of the one and two star reviews that they were given and basically just have fun. This video is mostly for entertainment, but I think that there are some educational uh, uh, things that can be pulled from it. Ultimately, as an author, you cannot avoid bad reviews. Eventually, if you put, on a, put out enough content that gets enough eyes, enough attention, you will receive some bad reviews. And unfortunately for me, uh, I got a terrible review on my very first book. So you don't have to feel bad uh, if your first book doesn't quite perform how you expect it. Anyway, today we're going to look at some books that have sold very well on Amazon, and we're going to see uh, what some of the reviewers are saying. All right, so the first book is called The Love Hypothesis. It is a New York Times bestseller, apparently, by Allie Hazelwood. All right, and the first reviewer says, Two stars, overrated. First half of the book, I gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars because Adam was really cute and suspicious, sexy nerd type of thing. Ah, I see. So your type is the cute, sexy nerd. I think I know where you might could find one of those. Uh, not to point any fingers. Not to point any fingers at anyone, of course. All right, let's keep going. But the second half is going to be a solid 2 out of 5. The way he acted changed, and the way it was written wasn't it. It was spicy, but not the kind of spicy I prefer. Mm, gotcha. So what kind of spicy are we talking about here? Are we talking about like Bojangles Supreme Chicken Tendies spicy? Or are we talking like Thai Dollar Sign spicy? What kind of spicy are we talking about? Apparently we're talking about the uh, the cute, sexy node type of spicy. So I think, uh, I think I've got that in spades for you. All right, the next book is Alone by Robert J. Crane. But before we talk about that, I want to just point out that I am an author as well, and I have a brand new book called Solomon Grando vs. the Jupiter Witch. It is a contemporary fantasy. Uh, it is for ages, I would say, 16 and up, but it's roughly equivalent to a Marvel movie in terms of tone and feel and content. Uh, if you love the Marvel movies or even like them, then you will like this book. It is about a vampire who goes on an adventure to save the world during an epidemic. So it is a very fun book. Uh, it has a 5 out of 5 stars right now. It is just released, so be sure to go to Amazon and check it out. The link is in the description. Alright, let's get back to Alone by Robert J. Crane. One reviewer had this to say, One star, wouldn't recommend, too deep for my taste. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think this says a bit more about you than it does the book. Um, but what do I know? I'm just an author. Alright, the next book we're going to look at is Dark Roads by, I'm assuming, Chevy Camaro? No, Chevy Stevens, my bad. So, Dark Roads by Sh Chevy Stevens. Alright, now the reviews that we've seen so far have been kind of surface level nonsense. They don't really hint at the actual underlying structural problems with the book, but I think I think that this particular German reviewer does a great job of really outlining their criticisms efficiently. We for here Romain, so omnipotent, der Prasentierte, Borswich und so unglaubwürdig, die Figur de Beth. Shed ich habe die Frohirin, Pichur, Johnir, Gelis. And uh, I, for one, uh, agree 100% with this statement. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. The next book is Winter World by A.J. Riddle. Apparently, it's an international bestseller. One reviewer had this to say, Do not buy this book. Drop a brick on your foot instead. Okay, that's fascinating advice. I actually tried this, and I can tell you from personal experience, as well as my doctor can tell you the same, that uh, it doesn't make reading the book any better. So I would not actually recommend doing that. All right, let's see what they had to say. Very sad. Started out entertaining, then the storyline fell apart. Plot went nowhere. Characters dissolved right before our eyes. Okay, so it would seem that this particular person is unfamiliar with the Marvel franchise because having characters dissolve right before your eyes has proven to be incredibly successful. Two billion, two billion at the box office, anyone? Two billion at the box office. 
Arthur obviously had nothing left to offer. I kept reading, powering through, almost made it to the end before it totally blew up. Can't believe I wasted all that time. Well, I think we can agree on one thing. We definitely wasted a lot of time. Uh, mostly me reading a review. One person said, uh, one star, worst book I've ever read. They said, it's quite possible most fifth graders write better than this. There is bad grammar, the voice is very choppy and repetitive, and the metaphors don't work. Well, I at least appreciate that they used an Oxford comma there. Let's see what someone else had to say. One star, soap opera, not science fiction. The science is not only wrong, but ridiculously wrong. This book is essentially a romantic dime store novel written to a fifth grade reading level, targeting young teens. Mm -hmm. See, now what's fascinating about both of these reviews is that the uh, reviewers in each case have not clearly seen the book cover where it states, in quote, perfect for your inner fifth grader, variety. So if these people had simply read the book cover, they would know that they are not the target demographic for these books. Uh, this is like going to the horror section and expecting to find romance. It just, it just ain't gonna happen. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it just occurred to me, I have a doctor's appointment. Okay, okay, fine. This is my book. Yes, uh, I wrote this book called Camera Sensors, Four Components to Image Quality back in 2018. Uh, it was the first book that I ever published and actually put out for sale. Um, the sales on it were not terrible for a first book, but, um, some of the feedback wasn't quite so good. So, let's take a look at what someone on Amazon had to say. One star, poorly written, factually wrong. At best, this is a middle high school level essay on why an enthusiastic but poorly informed AV club member who gushes about the imagined superiority of cinema ca video cameras. The essay is rife with spelling, grammatical errors, and made so many fundamental errors just in defining terms. I decided to return the book after reading just a few pages. This is a good thing because the book is only 64 pages, each page being a large type paragraph in length long, and has no place being marketed among engineering textbooks because it fails to get the facts right. This book has no value, even if it were offered for free. Well, you got a full refund, so for you, it basically was free. Uh, so yes, like I said, every author, if you do writing long enough, will get bad reviews. It's just an inevitability. And uh, I made this sort of rookie error of actually commenting directly to this person. Uh, I will not read it right now, but if you wanted to look it up, you could probably find it where I... Give a lengthy um, remark where I politely but firmly sort of acknowledge the complaints uh, that he makes. Uh, I will just say that um, as far as grammar and punctuation, I do agree to a large extent. I should have paid for an editor and spent more time just doing a lot more thorough editing. But this was my first book. As I said, I put it out in 2018. Uh, and I still sort of new to the process and didn't put the effort and time in that I probably should have. Uh, the second thing uh, is also a matter of perspective, basically. So, when I wrote the book, uh, I saw it as being like a kind of textbook where it's just like teaching people about camera sensors and camera manufacturers. But the truth is it's not. The word that they use in this review is essay. And I actually think that's a good word, actually, because in some sense it is more like an essay. It's, a, it's an editorial. So instead of just giving you the facts about these, these sensors and such, it, it gives you perspective, and it's infused with my opinion. Listening with my heart. Wow, beautiful. What a wonderful story about kindness, self-compassion, and of course, lethal weapons. That's right, we have one parent who gave a pretty unfortunate rating for this book. One star. Check the book before letting your kids see it. While my six-year-old daughter was looking through the pictures in the book, she noticed that there were pictures of guns. I am pretty upset because I was looking forward to reading this book to my kids. But now, all they are asking about is how there are guns in the books. I am upset that I didn't check that this book would contain this material not suitable for children, in my opinion. As a warning for other parents, please be aware this is not acceptable. Now, what I think is unacceptable about this is the fact that this person clearly doesn't understand that there's a few versions of the book available. So what they thought they were getting was Listening With My Heart, a wonderful, beautiful children's book. 
about self-love. But actually what they picked up was the alternative version, Listening with My Glock, which is um, still a beautiful book, I'd say, a wonderful story, but a a slightly more violent. Now, the truth is, this is probably a sabotage, in my opinion. Uh, You hear that, uh, Hannah Gutierrez read? An actual gun-related sabotage. So, basically... When a book gets a misprint, something is misprinted, typically it'll take the form of the page being printed upside down. Uh, Sometimes the ink will be faded. Sometimes the page will be shifted to the left or right or up or down, and there'll be large white uh, borders and such. Um, And sometimes you'll just have uh, where basically the page um, has a different font sometimes. But... But for pictures of guns to be in this book, multiple pictures, at least two, if not more, that's not really a misprint so far as I'm aware. That's just a full-on sabotage. And you can write in the comments what you would do if you received this book in the mail. Speaking of receiving books in the mail, this is a book for ages 3 to 6. And uh, funny enough, I happen to write a book for ages 3 to 6 that uh, apparently doesn't have any Glocks in it, actually. And it's called The Very Colorful Caterpillar. It came out just, I believe, just last month, and it already has a 5 out of 5 stars on Amazon. There's a paperback and hardcover available. I want to let you know that right now, for a limited time, the hardcover is available at 24% off. So it is an incredible savings. Get the uh, hardcover of the Very Colorful Caterpillar right now on Amazon. I believe it is also available on Barnes & Noble's website. There is currently no ebook and no plan to release one, but maybe in the distant future I will reconsider Either way, check it out, and of course, check out my other book, Solomon Grando vs. the Jupiter Witch, which is an adult and teen contemporary fantasy. I think you will really enjoy it. Alright, um, please uh, check out my books, like this video, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out, tell your friends about it. Also, go in the comment section and tell me if there's any interesting book-related purchase experiences you had, where there was a misprint or some other uh, something else happened. Maybe you uh, read a book and just hated it and you left a really bad review. Tell me about that. And of course, give me any ideas you may have for future videos. If you have something in the writing or publishing industry you want me to talk about, please let me know. All right, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.